Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to log apps on your Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. So how this works is we're going to create a secure folder. And this secure folder will contain a duplicate version of whatever application you would like to log. So what you will need to do is you will need to sign out of the regular app and then the version inside of the secure folder will have its own app data, which means, you know, if you would like to have that application accessible only behind the log, You'll be able to do that i will cover everything in this video so let's get right into it so what we need to do is we need to enable the secure folder so in order to enable the secure folder what we do is we open up settings and then from settings we tap on biometrics and security and then from biometrics and security you see a secure folder tap into this one continue continue and then the secure folder will be created Keep in mind, you will need to be signed into your Samsung account in order for the secure folder to be created. In order to sign into your Samsung account, in the top of settings, there'll be an option there. So we'll just give this a couple of seconds for the secure folder to be created. Once the secure folder is created, we can add security. So I'm just going to turn on fingerprints here and you can see pattern, pin, password. So I'm gonna set a pin for the secure folder. Make sure you remember this pin. So I'm just gonna do one more one. I'm going to confirm pin without tapping on OK oh, or not. It just would ignore that option. And now once you have added security, we are now inside of the secure folder. So how this works is you can see if I open up the gallery in a secure folder, you can see no pictures or videos. However, the regular gallery has pictures and videos. So here's the deal. If you want to lock your applications, the regular app should not be signed in, should not have any updated. So the regular gallery Let's say you want, you know, photos to be secure, stuff like that. Make sure there is nothing here. And then what you do instead is inside of the secure folder version of the gallery application. That's where you store all your, you know, sensitive files, sensitive photos, all that good stuff. So let's say you want to lock your banking applications. The regular banking app, let's say HSBC, you wouldn't have that signed in on the regular version. However, what you would do is we need to access the secure folder. So let's find it. It'll be in the applications. You tap into it, we'll tap on the plus, and this is to add an application. We will just find the HSBC, let's say. Tap into that one, add. You can see HSBC UK is added. And then this version is out of the secure folder. That is the version where you sign in. So what that means is a regular person cannot access your banking if they got access to your tablet. Now if we tap on the triple lines here, inside of the secure folder, you do have the option to lock and exit. But if we tap into settings, what we can do is we can choose this. So auto lock secure folder, if we tap into this one, what I recommend you do is each time I leave an app, you have it lock the secure folder. So what this means is every time you try and access an, uh, an application, so we just close out of it, go to secure folder, every single time it will ask for your pin and that just enables more security. We tap on the triple lines here and then we'll go to customize you can customize this secure folder if you would like so you're changing the icon all that good stuff and then we'll just go back i didn't tap tap on apply didn't need to tap on apply so we'll just go here apply and then we're good to go just keep in mind guys i recommend you move that secure folder to your home screen place it wherever you want say here and if you need that secure folder version of the app choose our fingerprint Choose the application, load it up, and we're good to go. And again, because of how my settings are made, you can see the secure folder automatically closes. And every time I want to access my applications, which are locked, you need to enter in a passcode. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.